Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine Sky and we're back on Die World where we have been slightly confused about all the things, um, but hopefully we're going to get this sorted. So um, last time we started by trying to start making science and we're going to get there and we're going to do stuff. Um, but at the moment, we're just going to put some radars down <laughs> so we can see what is happening in our factory and what's going on exactly. Now we routed coal. Uh, from this area of the base into the stone uh, mining and stuff over here. Uh, what do you call this? Stone furnacing to make bricks? Stone heating? Oh my gosh. Whatever. Yeah. Smelting, I think. Anyway, let us get some more power here because I think we're going to need it eventually. But we need stone bricks for this and this we need regular stone for. So we have some... Oh, we have a box for the regular stone and we do have the automation getting those bricks under control here. Looks like this, these belts are so slow. I think it's 5.63 items per second, which is crazy slow. Uh, not ideal as you can imagine, but we are getting quite a few bricks from this uh, situation, which I'm quite happy about. Anyway, let's increase the number of drills we have in this area. Uh, so that we can get a full line. Looks like four. Four in a row is enough for one side of the belt. Okay, this is good information to know so that we can kind of plan this. But we need this to be done. You know what we should do? I should get another couple of assembly machines made. Let's make a few of these. Let's make some centrifuges because we're going to need those as well to make the liquid stuff slurry out of belts and miscellaneous parts and things okay but oh so much stuff come on hurry hurry <laughs> it's handcrafting too slow the meow is real anyway i'm gonna grab some of this here we have more stone furnaces there i'm gonna grab that there nice okay almost almost done we almost have more miners okay hurry up miners go 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 let's go let us go. You know, it could be it could be actually nice to sit here and watch the miners spin away, having a nice time. Oh, but who cares? We have them now, <laughs> so we can actually move forward now. Good, good. Excellent. Okay, so now we should have a full belt going in here uh, to help these uh, smelters start getting all the bricks we can handle. We have, uh, let's see, 130 bricks, which is good. Uh, we are now crafting some of this other stuff. I think I want to set up a couple of, of assembling machines as soon as, <laughs> as soon as they finish crafting uh, to craft these things for us. Man, we have a lot of stuff we need to craft. Stone gears specifically and also those uh, other things. Let's see. So, you know, this looks like a, I don't know, miscellaneous parts for me. Okay, let's just have this go. You know what? I could actually put this on the side. I think I'm going to do that. I think I want to put this one on the side here and have it give... Oh, I need more inserters. Hey, hello. No, I can't have any. Hurry. All right, I'm going to steal a couple here. Let's steal those two for now. Okay, and this is going to make... See, I don't... I'm not a fan of this icon. This looks like a finished building to me instead of intermediates of any kind. Uh, but that's... Maybe that's just me. There we go. Get two, and that makes stuff. And this will go into a box somewhere. There looks good. And power pole. Boom. Nice. Okay, so we're, we are going to get some of the other things, some of the other inserters soon. Okay. Oh, are we short on power? Yes, we are. Wow. Okay. We definitely need more power. Okay, like, emergently. Definitely. Uh, the other thing we needed also was the stone plates. So those are from stone bricks. I think what I can do is be a bit sneaky here and just go this way and put in an assembler for making those stone plates. Yep, let's just do this this way into a box. Uh, right now we don't actually have any things going on to the belts, but that's okay. We'll get there. Let's just limit the chest as well. 
to like four stacks. And we will put some of these bricks on the belt. Okay, good. That's very nice. We have these, yay. Now then, let's get some more of our steam engines out here. Kind of important. Let's make five of these. We need ten of these, but we kind of ran out of stone again. Do they need just regular stone? Yeah. They just need regular stone. There we go. So we made four. We can have three. Okay, we need ten altogether. Just go ahead and grab some off the belt here. It's another one and two. Good. Nice. Okay, that works. Okay, now that we have some machines making stuff, this is going to be a little bit easier. All right, we do need to leave a space because of the power pull here, but it should be fine. And we do have a few belts left, which is amazing. Good, good. Uh, I'm going to just add these like that, and then that one will go there. Take this this way. Boom, boom. And again. Nice. Okay. Excellent. So this is going to get more coal. Uh, we do need pipes in between for water. Oh no. Apparently we don't have pipes for water. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, but it'll be fine. We'll get there. It'll be fine. What are those made out of? They're made out of stone. Oh my gosh. Everything is made out of stone in this place. This is such a weirdness. It really feels very weird, I have to say. Really strange. But it'll be fine. We're going to get there. We will get there. It will be good. Now then, these things have full electricity now. So I'm hoping they're going to fill up the belt. It looks like they are. That's what I was looking for. So that's just fine. Very, very good. Now... Let's take this stone here and more of these guys. Excellent. Uh, and this is quite nice to have those gears being made for us automatically. And we'll also take these things. Stone plates. Because why not? Why not indeed? And we'll get more stone bricks. Just to have handcrafting material for us. Um, I think I want to have another thingy here making these stone plates but um do i have long-handed inserters yet i don't think so i think that's part of the tech we have to unlock let's see can we do something like this <laughs> yes we can by all means we can do this why not it is extremely silly okay there we go all right so that's that um, all right, we have plenty of coal going down here. That's nice. Let me grab some more of these stone thingies. I want to build more inserters. So let's just get those going. I think we need another assembler for uh, simple control boards. Basically the green circuits. First circuits we're seeing so far. Okay, and I want to also get coal here. There we go. There we go. And just make sure that these are fed okay so now we have things going on we have things yes right um yeah we need to get the pipes here okay so the pipes are giving us this red liquid which is made in let's find out science this Personal and science stuff. Okay. So automation science fluid is made in a one of those centrifuge things. Okay. So let's put the centrifuge thingy uh, over here. Okay. That looks fine. Yeah. There we go. We're going to make red stuff in here. And then we'll have another one making the white stuff. Uh, right. Let's connect. Good. Okay, excellent. These are, they actually look kind of cool, but they're, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're experiencing new things. This is good. We like new things. Um, pipes. Yes. I feel like I should make pipes from in a, in a, in a, in an assembler or something. Now then this thing needs belts and assemblers. This is quite horrible. 
actually, that it needs all of this stuff. I'm wondering if I should just move this a little bit over. Yeah, maybe I'll put it over here, actually. I'll do this instead. This is going to make white stuff. Huh? Why not? Can't mix fluids. Why not? This is outputting this. Huh? Wait. Did I do something wrong there? This makes white stuff. No. This white stuff. Okay. All right. The wrong white stuff, clearly. Um, yeah, I, I kind of want to do it sort of automatable. Uh, we'll see if it works, though. All right, we need belts and we need... Uh, tra oh, wow. Let's do this this way, then. And this thing needs water and trees and carbon dioxide. Okay, so we'll have our... Um, air filter. We can have that make stuff here. Carbon dioxide. Yeah. Oh, good. It's quite simple. It's a very simple process there. And then water is going to come from the lake here. So I need to make, let's see, we have the underflowies, which is nice. Uh, and then I want the pipes, stone pipes. And those are from regular stone. Okay, let's go back and get some stone. I feel like I'm I'm wondering if I should make a stone line out to this direction this way. Oh, looks like we're not quite full on the stone here. So maybe it's worth putting a couple extra miners on this. Yeah, I think it is. It's worth it. Why not? This is just a quick and dirty kind of thing. Nice. This one, we definitely need more power. Good, good. So, more pipes. That's a thing also that I can do, I guess, is make stuff like pipes. Just make these, please. Uh, all right, let's limit this chest also to like four stacks is plenty. Okay, very nice. We are getting stuff made. This is great. I'm very much in favor of this. Okay. Now then, um, do we need anything else over here while we're here? Just grab some more stone maybe. <laughs> I am level seven. Yay. Good. Stuff, things happened. Hooray. Oh, these are starting to spread down the line. Uh, okay, we should put some more of these in. There we go. That's fine. All right, lots of stone plates. This is good. This is going to reduce our handcrafting time, thank goodness. Okay, going this way now. All right, so... We wanted to get some water, and I want to kind of do it in a place with very little mining. I guess it doesn't matter, though. Not really. Uh, this is less awkward. It's probably... I don't know if it's less pipes. I, I think it's less pipes, but I don't know. Not for a fact. Okay, let's put this one here, and then we're going to take the under flowies. <gasps> Look at that distance. They don't go very far at all. No. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. That's really funny. I see. I see why they're cheaper or quote unquote cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. There it is. Right. Ah, and we need wood here as well. Oh, I don't have any long handed inserters. That's that's a shame, but we can just feed it. With the wood we have okay so we're gonna start that process going which we don't actually have a lot of wood but i'm thinking of setting up a little box or something and just giving it wood for a bit this is this is gonna get this is getting slightly painful i have to say this whole red science thing it's like no 
Uh, but we can automate wood with this uh, this new new world here. Okay, we now have more wood. We have plenty of power poles, so I could just chuck it all in there. Uh, I might do that. Or I might just put a box here and put the wood in that way. Yep, we'll do this for now. Good. Oopsies. Okay, so this is getting that. So we have one thing done. That's great. I would like to add a power pole like right here. Get our inserter here so that we can fill it with belts and things. It's like, uh huh? Really? This is a most peculiar recipe. Anyway, it's exciting though because we, we don't know how, to, how this works at all. Oh, we need plates and gear wheels to make these. Okay, and the other thing it wanted was machines, assembly machines. So well, how do you make those? These are in a different category. These are simple control boards. All right, we need circuits already for this. This is, this is much more difficult than I thought. Um, how many does this make? So we get 10 science for one of each of those. So I'm just going to feed it, I think. We're going to feed it some belts. Stone transport belt. Do I not have any belts? Oh, no, apparently I don't. Okay. Let's make some. There we go. All right. This is great. This is this is kind of exciting, I got to say. This is pretty cool. Okay. I don't want to feed it 99. I just want to give it a couple. Okay. So this fluid is going to be 10 fluid. But wait, do they need 10 fluid? No, they need five fluid for this. No, say it ain't so. All right, let's put in plenty of iron plates here. And we're going to put in, let's put in half a stack of stone transport belts. And then I think we're going to need also some more stone assembly machines. Definitely need more of them. Uh, I'm not sure how science works in this pack. We're going to have to look this up. I think the whole, oh, geez, where is it? This? Yeah, okay. We need wood. Wow, we need wood. No. Okay, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Really fine. Yay. The fineness is already starting. There's a little bit of cry involved too. Just slight, just slight. But I, I think it's... I, I, I know that from um, <clears throat> seeing some of the comments out there, people quite enjoy the cry. <laughs> but that's okay. We're not going to cry too badly. We're going to be fine. And it's going to be excellent. Yes, yes. I'm going to pray to the holy fuzzy cats and maybe the towel of sky as well. Uh, yes. And if you want to see more cry, by the way, uh, come and check out uh, the streams. We I, I stream about uh, twice a week on Twitch. And I uh, we're Avon and I are playing Pyanodon. And oh my god, it's so much fun. It's really great. Uh, so if you enjoy watching... Uh, that kind of very complicated factorio happen. You might enjoy watching us play. It's it's fun. So, okay, let's look at intermediate products. What do we need for this? We need copper cable and... Wow, what a weird thing. Okay. So this is another item that we're going to need wood for. That's good. Okay, so we can we can kind of figure out... Like, where do we want to put this thing, by the way? Oh, and we, did, we didn't put our radar out here. No, of course not. Um, I'm thinking maybe the wood could be over here. What is this? Iron ore? We don't care about that. It's 843 pieces. Uh, maybe wood could go here. Possibly. And then have a belt coming out this way. Uh, to make the circuits. But for the moment. I think I want to have. Okay. You can make copper cable. And you can make the circuits. So we'll have a couple of boxes. We'll have the feeding boxes on this side. And then we'll have the output box down here so that we can just come and quickly grab this and we know where to grab. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. <laughs> this is the oh boy part of this, right? Uh, let's feed this the science assembling machines. There you go. Process grind them into bits and then swirl them around with the white liquid liquid and uh, make everything fine okay, that goes there we need more trees there we go all right we'll go and chop we need nanobots because chopping is not great for my hands 
So we got to have our nanobots. We got to have automation happen. Oh, we're getting some pieces of that. That's great. Okay. This is good. Because that means that um, yeah, we're actually getting science made, which is perfect. There we go. Nice. Okay, very good. Let's take some of this, and then do we need more bricks? No, we don't need more bricks. We could use the bricks to pave our way across. That might be good. So let's do that. Let's make a walkway of like three wide. Okay, give us some a little bit of faster run speed, especially on this uh, sandy uh, ground, which slows us down. So we're gonna probably go here with this, sure. And just into the next area. We don't really care what's going on there, to be honest. But, all right, I also wanna grab some coal from these coal things, coal miners out here. And of course the iron plates and stuff. Now we do wanna start making uh, the next uh, furnace assemblies as well. Do we, can we get nanobots anytime soon? That's one thing I wanna know about. Okay, we can with uh, logistics. So let's go with logistics next. The nanobots after that, because I want those nanobots. We want, we must have. Oh, yes. All right, this is getting done. 24 already made. Excellent. I'm going to put some more wood in this box. So I feel like that's important. It's a good use of wood. All right, and then these guys, this is just really painfully slow. I'm thinking we might just make another thingy for this hmm. if we go hold on if we turn this thing like this uh, maybe move it to the side actually let's do this okay let's make red science liquid stuff and then we'll put this on this side and then we can have several of these things going along this way. This hmm, might move that over just a, just a smidge. So at the moment, let's just feed this thing with stuff and then get our liquid. There we go. And then here, we can put power poles in between the buildings. Copy, paste, and go. Just take half of these and put them in there. That's just fine. And then we're going to remove this. Move it closer. There we go. Okay, so this is needing power. Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, interesting. The stuff you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll put these here for now. I don't think we're going to need them immediately, but we'll see. Okay, looking pretty good. We need more of those. This is great. Okay, so we have lots of intermediates already being made. I'm quite happy about that. We do need to get some automation on the, well, on all the stuff right now. We can't automate the wood yet, um, but we can automate copper. It looks like we need copper for stuff. What does the assembly machine need again? Let's see stone just stone all it needs is stone i need to look at the map and kind of think about like where i want to put stuff here we can add our radar let's just put it kind of all the way to the side here uh so that we can kind of extend our our reach with these things okay it can go right there actually okay i'll just go ahead and put it there then there's no reason not to have it as far as possible here. Uh, since we're not dealing with biters, there's no reason for that. All right, here is our area that we kind of own at the moment. And I'm wondering if it might be worth it to kind of push the bus in this direction. Maybe we should have smelting columns here and then go in a direction. I've kind of completely forgot how the map is laid out. I know there's water here and maybe water down there as well. 
But if we push off to the right side, we could have smelting columns here, and then the bus can just go that way. I feel like that might be a good thing. Okay, we did get the new uh, automation. We're getting logistics now. I do want to set up some of these greenhouses. So let's just make, let's see, 10. No idea how fast it's going to be to make wood. Um, it's probably going to take a long time. I know that if this is taking any inspiration from Bob's mods, that takes forever to make any trees and stuff. So that is interesting. But at the moment, this should be just fine. Oh, wow, this ran out. Okay. Take that one up. And we, we could take some more stone. We don't need a lot of... I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's kind of difficult because it's like you have no idea what um, what's coming next, what you want to do next. I might just plow through this entire area here, make this a belt area. There isn't a lot of material out here and we have millions in these patches so I'm not really worried about that so I might move this entire thing off to the side here uh, instead because that that seems like a good idea to me to do that uh, I wonder let's look at logistics and see how those belts are made Okay, they do require the stone transport belt. It looks like it's a step up from the iron or from the stone uh, using iron this time. So we're going to need some iron smelting for sure. And uh, that's that's kind of a good thing. I'm, I'm excited about this, that we're going to be kind of upgrading this stuff. All right, but let's place down the lines so far. And then we'll be able to upgrade them a bit later once we have actual production. For now, I think what we're going to do is we are going to handcraft... Uh, those various items. Let's see. Let's get uh, belts going on here. No. Oh, the menuing, man. The menuing is going to trip me up. Rough times, man. Rough times. Okay. It's fine, though. It'll be fine. Looks like we need a lot of gears for this. More than we have. But that's okay. We We got some. We did get some. So this thing, I think we can leave this situation here for now. Okay, let's take this and then go around. And I think we'll just go, I don't know how far, maybe here. Let's just do that instead. And then these things can also be moved as well. The whole stone slab production. Uh, because that's kind that's an intermediate that can kind of travel down here. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have kind of a big causeway sort of thing going through here. And that's I think that's gonna work very nicely. No, don't do that thing. No no. And we're not going to care if we build over the ore. Trust me, we are not going to care. This is not a thing we're going to care about. <laughs> no, no, no caring. Mm -mm. No frustration. No, no sigh. We are, we are going to be adult about this and it's going to be fine. All right, let's take this along this way. I think we also probably need a a stone belt alongside this. Now one thing that I do want to do is we want to see, so this is the furthest reaches of the stone. However, I could start putting some of the uh, furnace lines out here, which might be a good idea. I think let's take another belt of just regular stone. And in fact, let's have uh, a quartet of belts, shall we? I think that might work pretty well. Uh, you know what? Let's put the stone on the top here instead. Let's just have this over here. And then we'll have two stone bricks together and two regular stone uh, together. Because that seems to make a decent amount of sense at the moment. Of course, I didn't anticipate <laughs> doing this. Because I thought that was going to be the furthest uh, up we were going to go. But that's all right. It's fine. 
but this is going to be just regular stone. There we go. And we're going to be able to get faster belts at some point as well. So this is going to be a belt here. Actually, should I put it? I could put it all the way out here because the stone extends quite some some ways in this direction. So I think we'll just have it go there. Yeah. We'll just have it go all the way across and then just take from where it needs to be taken. Whoopsies, was that? Yep. Looks like it hit the tree, Jim. Alrighty. Let's go down here. Alright, I think that's going to work if we plan this carefully. What we can do is plan from space. That's kind of nice usually. And just say, aha, this is where we're going to go. Come back to it and then our plans, we can realize them. Yay. Nice. We have quite a lot of uh, stuff in our... Oh, this thing that we can't move. Alright, the, uh, the stone will have a little scenic... Thing going on here <laughs> sure that's how this works okay so we need five in a row I think for this let's just go here one oh no we ran out no we ran out of machines oh wow we need copper or I maybe more precisely we probably need those control boards yeah let's get the control boards don't have any copper on us yeah the walking path is really quite a bit faster that's nice. 126. That's nice. Okay. Give it some more wood. And soon, my friends, we shall have real wood happening. So now that that's kind of planned, let's get these as well. Copper again. And we need more wood. Definitely got to get more wood. No. I'm kind of tired of chopping the trees. There's a lot of wood involved in this already. The meow is meow. There we go. We'll be fine. All we have are these like coconut trees. We should get extra credit for coconuts because they could sort of with a little imagination be chopped up into wood bits and you know, plywood, coconut plywood. No, no. Okay. It, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. There we go. Boom. Nice. There we go. Let's go and chip this down this huge rock. Got some coal for us and other stuff now that we no longer need it. <laughs> I didn't see this one initially when we were chopping rocks last time. There we go. Take all this away. Bye 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 bye. There we go. Okay. And good. Boom. Many, many trees. Okay. We have 148 wood. That should be enough, I think for this. All right, I'm going to put this, um, the coal in these machines real quick so that they have plenty. Good. I'm literally putting full stacks in there at the moment. What are we missing here? Oh, we're missing assembly machines, right? And then we'll put one there and then I'm going to handcraft some more of these. Let's just make several. What were we doing? <laughs> we were getting wood, I think, for this. Okay, great. Uh, let's put in a bit. And here's got plenty of uh, copper. So I think that that's fine. Um, gears. Let's get these gears because gears are kind of needed here. Now, we were getting... Ah, yes, that's right. We were making more miners. That's good. So we were out here making these miners to get regular stone onto the bus. So let's just start with this. That's three, four, and then that's five. Huh. Can we take that off and go like this? Yes, we can. Actually do this. There we go. And these can go here and that way this can start traveling along the bus and giving us some material to work with. Let's take the power line all the way out here. Boom. Yay. Tree. Hi tree. How you doing? 
Like, every tree is, like, cowering in fear. Oh, my God. Here comes KOS with her pickaxe. Yeah, sorry, trees. It happens. Okay, so these things we're going to need. Uh, probably not 400 pipes. I'm not right. I'm not really sure why I'm making that many pipes. I'm going to convert some of them, I think. There we go. That's enough. That seems good. We'll convert them into under underflowies, underpipies, whatever you want to call them. And now we need to lay out the parts for the furnaces. So we're going to go to our blueprints again. And we're just going to use a standard blueprint. I think the belt technology will catch up eventually. So I think that's a good idea. I think we're going to use the left one as well because the coal is going to come from the south. Now, if we take this into consideration, what we can do is let's do two spaces there. We can actually pull this back a little bit or maybe forward. That's fine. And we can just put down a few of these uh, thingies. There we go. You know what? We'll have four. Let's start off with four for maybe iron and then four for copper or several for copper. I don't know if we'll, we'll do four. Uh, let's see. Did I? No, we did not. We just borrowed the blueprint. These are the left ones, I think. Yes. So we're going to go two spaces up. There we are. One, two, three and four and i'm not even bothered about building over this we're just laying this out and we're gonna have a good time okay good i am quite happy about this situation at the moment we do need to feed these guys you know what i think i'm gonna make i'm gonna try to make this automatic right now because this is very slow right now and i want to make it much faster so let's take this and go there and then we're going to grab this stuff take these get our inserters yay and then we're going to have a box or two or seven let's put the box out here and we're just going to insert stuff onto the line from the box and the box is going to hold uh, one box is going to have belts, 100, well, more, let's have 200 belts. And this one is going to have the assembly machines. There we go. And obviously we need to make more assembly machines, so let's just do that right now. Just going to handcraft these for now, till we can get all the things we need done. But at the moment, it looks like we just need stone plates. So that's something that we can already plan out for now. Okay, look at this. This is running really well. Do we need anything here? We're full up on the carbon dioxide. Do we need more wood? There's 60 wood in there. Let's give it a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. Tiny touch. And I'll go and hunt more wood. Uh, this area is going to need to be cleared anyway. Because we're going to be mining this iron ore for our smelting situation going on there see how many we have 155 belts which is not enough at the moment but i feel like we need to set up that stone production stuff let's go and do that real quick yes i, I like this this wording real quick i'm, I'm very optimistic it's clear with that <laughs> yes <laughs> very optimistic indeed so the stone slabs i think are made from the uh this stone here let's go make sure we go output priority to the right from the stone bricks is what i meant to say so i think what we can do with this is i now let's just plan this out let's plan this out a little bit better so this is this stuff here so that's going to be there and go across here, right? Okay, good. And this is gonna go down here. The next one is gonna go down here, and then the next one is gonna go down here. Okay. And I think this is gonna be the beginning of our bus. Oopsies, nope. Stop it, stop it. Okay, so this is gonna be iron. I need more belt. More belt, help. These are made with stone plates. No, <laughs> the no is real. Okay, so let's take this 
and pull off the bus for this. This is going to be our first pull off of the bus for a material. So we're going to take, no, I don't have any of these. Oh no. Help. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're going to get this automated so soon. Like it's not even funny. I'm going to take some of these off um, and make the splitters instead. We have some undergroundies, so that's just fine. Let's see. Where do we want to have this? Let's have this kind of here, like here. Uh, yeah. What? Really? They only go three? No! Fine. <sighs> that has to be annoying. <laughs> that is very annoying. Jeez. Okay. Let's go with our assembling machines. We'll put them on this side, I think, for now. We're going to have some coming in and then some coming out. Now, these are going to make stone slabs. There we go. Or stone plates, I should say. And we're going to just make an assembly line. And they're going to be put back on the bus, I think. Because this seems to be something that we use quite a lot of. Um, this is, God, this is going to be awful. So, let's see. We have these. This is uh, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Two up. One, two, three, four. That's going to be the copper that's coming from there. Uh, so then the next one is here. So I think we can put this stone thingy over there. We're just, we're going to fix some of this so it doesn't do like that. I really hope those new undergroundies are go for distance. Let's see. Oh, maximum length seven. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. I'm wondering if we should combine stuff together. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. Let, let's make a few of these things. I think that's a really good idea. Um, I, obviously, we have right now four of these and then four and then four. That's kind of an arbitrary number, though. Mm. Maybe what we can do is just do the, uh, the rest of them in a seven. Like, these things can start with sevens. It, or we could do six on this one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's actually do that. Let's make six here. Um, that that makes sense. I think. I hope. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. No, I need more belts. Oh, the sadness is real. No. Okay. What we're gonna do is this is what I planned. Is to set up these power poles here, and then take this back to the main part of our base and it's gonna be great no there's one here i think no where is this one it's one here oh it does work okay for some reason it wasn't connecting there it's probably just because of the perceived number of connections which sometimes affects it all right we're gonna take this all the way across here okay and to our production center. Hooray. Nice. But we are getting stuff made. This is great. I'm going to put some of those assembling machines in the box, but not all of them. Oops. Wait. No. Oh, geez. What am I doing? I'm, I'm trying to take it from the hop bar, but that's not right. <laughs> that's not quite right. Okay. So this is working quite well. This is really exciting. Oh, man. This is good. We're getting our undergroundies. I'm going to get rid of these undergroundies. I don't like them at all. They're horrible. Okay, let's finish setting this up. So we're going to have six there. Oh, we, we can't finish setting that up. But we can get these little stone plates going. Yay. So we don't have to worry about crafting those. Okay, let's take those off. There we go. All right, let's just stop this line here because those are going to be no more very shortly. Nice. Just walk up and down a bit and get those. 
Anyway, we are handcrafting like mad people at the moment. And um, it's going to take a while for this queue to finish. So I think the best thing right now is to say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.